Hey, good afternoon, it's Anna, welcome back. I have a jewelry bag here that I picked up at a local thrift, the American Thrift here in my area. And it was $24.92, that means no discount. And it says jewelry bulk. So a, a lot of jewelry, there's a big giant knot in here. I'll pull it out and show you like the knot, but I'm not gonna be able to untangle it. I know that not during the video. But anyways, basically 25 bucks, this is what I've got. It's a lot of jewelry, hopefully there's something good in it. If you see anything you're interested in, email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. I will sell out of the jewelry bag, why not? All right, let me get started. <coughs> Up top, those are real pearls in cobalt blue glass. This is one of those, I call them a fidget necklace or bracelet. It's a strand, a very long strand with magnets. This one has pearls, magnets, and cobalt blue colored glass that are like bicones, faceted bicones. You can wear this as a necklace, a bracelet. It's really long, you know, necklace or bracelet. Or just play with it like I have one. This table is getting dirty rather quickly. I'm going to have to pull this off and wash it and buy another one. Get dirty quick. Little stretch bracelet. There's two of them, actually. They were stuck on the magnets. Metal and glass. Eva would like those. They are metallic, like a hunter's green and a sea foam like green. It reminds me of... Um, this, this is plastic. I think it's cool. I don't know if the other earring is hair or not. It's cute though, they're costume. I, I won't let my daughter wear these, but this is something, somebody could wear it, it's light. I, was, I always think of Eva when I find things like, I don't know. It's just what I do. Um, okay, so there's that. Then we have, um, this is a Laguna. It's signed in the back, Laguna. It's a little dirty, but it's nice. It's a choker. It's a... Uh, Look, beautiful AB glass and um, faux pearls. Laguna is known for this AB glass. This is 1960s, and it's a choker. It's beautiful, actually. Um, it's light enough to be worn against your throat, and it wouldn't bother you. I can just tell, you know, it's got a good light weight to V, a, a J-hook, and it's, sh it's short. It's meant to be worn as a choker. <clears throat> Another magnetic... Like necklace bracelet thing. This is just black beads, bicone ones, and magnets. Bicone and round. There's that. Here's another one. <laughs> Let's get these out of the way. This one's pretty. Blue crystals and um, magnets. Magnets are good for arthritis. I know that this one, they are all doubled up. They can all be worn as necklaces or bracelets. They're good for arthritis. I don't know the other properties. If you mind any mark, notice any marks on her, please excuse me. Like I said, it needs washed. It's I was moving boxes. I should never put them on the table. That was stupid. You know how that is. Um, okay. Uh I mean it's not too bad, but I can see spots. This is a uh, glass and magnetic. Pretty, I think. The magnet, um, it's pretty strong. They they're painted like that glittery <coughs> bronze shiny thing. So so far all that's wearable, really. We I like that. These I'm gonna give to my I mean for those to my 13 year old. She'll like them. Ah, oh, how cute. Look, acrylic. Yeah, those they're nice. Like they're not glass, but look at them. They look like Oh, everything's there. Some of them, the little ones trimming the border, they're red. Those look those are glass, but these ones are not. But that's beautiful, actually. Oh, there, there's a hang tag on it, in case does anybody, if anybody knows that. Look, I'm not gonna. It looks like an R or something. J R or an, it's an R or D. It's a costume piece. I can tell it's not. It's silver tone. By the way, it feels it's really pretty. It's like a two inch cross. It's, I think that's nice, and it's all intact, which is good. Oh my God! See, I got a knot. Let's pull the knot out. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to get, I'm not going to, oh, I like that. It's costume. It's nice, actually. Look, it's not plastic, but it's pretty. I've had a number of them in glass like this, even this color I can recall. This is, it's nice. It's all silver, black, and a nice pink. I think it's a nice color combo, you know? Looks pretty. That's intact. It's a necklace. I have a bust hair, a flat on the ground one. Um, I had these from when I first started. Oh, it's working with this necklace. Look, I, it's, that's pretty. That looks like lucite. I mean, it's plastic though. I don't know if it's actually lucite. It doesn't feel very, 
I mean, it looks like plastic, so that's why I, was, I said it might be. It, it's we'll just call it plastic. Why not? Um, here's another one. So, um, see, some of them are tangled up. <clears throat> oh my lord, what is that? It's got. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just hit that. Am oh, I? Look, it's eyeballs. There's no name on. There's an eyeball in here. There's pearls. All right, this is actually might be a designer piece. I'm gonna have to investigate it further because it's a leather. Um, a glass eyeball, and those are pearls, or somebody may have made it. I don't know. I'll just look at it. It magnet shut. It is a bracelet. It's cool. The all seeing eye, blue eye. <laughs> We're all blue eyed in my family. Um, it's my sister's green eye. My one sister, but everybody else is blue, including my children. And uh, that's beautiful, huh? I mean, not beautiful, the color of the eye is, it's not. It's a cool bracelet, actually. I don't know if I'd wear it. I don't even know what the LC and I'd stands for. But it's a cool bracelet. It's leather and pearls, and um, I'll look for a name on it. Uh, <clears throat> I don't see one on it. Quick glance, but it's an intact piece of jewelry, and I'm glad to see that. And I'm sure somebody will wear that. Um, I would it, but somebody will. This is Kathy. Oh, Kathy Van... Zealand or something? Van, oh my god. Zealand? Here, look at it, guys. This is a keychain. I don't know who she is. It's a little dirty looking. It can be cleaned up, but it's a nice, sturdy keychain. I feel like my um, camera is in the wrong place for me, and I need to work on that. <clears throat> I have a camera up. I've been, I'm going to use my laptop for now, and I'm going to be camera forward because, um, I prefer it <clears throat> over camera down. This is a little like a hold your glasses type thing here. <laughs> this is a good thing to have, if you, but it's a little weak. You know, I don't know how well it would hold the glasses up. But um, I could use one of those because my glasses, I don't want to put them on my forehead. Um, I wouldn't care when they were cheaper, but if they a more costly pair that I bought, I don't want to ruin them, you know. This is it says Believe. And it's pinart.com. It's a little belief pin, positive note. It's just a little gold tone pin. I like to do these occasionally. I've started doing them again. I stopped buying jewelry drawers for a while, but I started buying them again. And I bought this one really after seeing Thelma's video. So who knows? We'll see if I find anything that spectacular in here. I don't see it yet. You can kind of see gold pretty quick when you're going through it, at least. Well, some of this might be gold. I don't know. But it's small gold. Um, It's really, really tangled. We got this ball. <clears throat> it's cool. Um, I'm not going to be able to untangle it. Like I said, I, I just am not. I will later, though. I'll go through it. We have this untangled. What is this? A keychain or something? No, it's not quite untangled. It is Ellie and... Ellie and... Oh my god. Ellie Estamorist or something. I don't know what that says. This is a necklace. It's a costume piece. I can tell by the feel of it. And that's plastic there, I think. No, that's glass. No, it's plastic. Okay. I don't want to spend too much time on here. I don't want to bore people to death. But this is the knot, guys. <clears throat> this looks like an Alex and Ani type of thing. Let's see who it is. Does it say? says love this life i'll show it in a minute i don't know who it is and it has some kind of message on the back of it mother and daughters never truly part connected in each other's hearts that's cute actually this was a gift probably to somebody and it ended up here i don't like I mean, I wouldn't want to wear it myself since it was a gift to somebody else. But it, maybe it's not. It might just be a commercially made piece. Um, this is a lot of knotage that I'm going to have to go through. Like, I have this big... What is this? Look at this. Like, this is a costume piece, too, I think. But that's a lot, isn't it? Like, knotted. Oh, my God, how cute. Somebody strung it together. It's got bells on it and loose idea looking pieces. There's a little shell necklace in here I can identify. A big ring. Oh my god, what is he? Oh, he's cute. I oh, there's swords. What is this? Look, what is that? That's not a piece of jewelry. Does anybody know what this is? Look. 
It's a magnet. Um, oh, it's a clip. Oh, I can, you can put, I'll clean him up and put him on our fridge. I'm going to do that. We always need to hold Eva's papers for um, school, like band camp. She's at band camp right now. That's a pretty little hair um, barrette. It looks such a nice little vintage. It's kind of heavy. This is pretty. Beautiful Jesus and Mary bracelet. Um, I think it's just gold tone faux pearls. Glass faux pearls. It's a has a cross and then has the, the metal here. Oh, it might be Jesus and not Mary. My eyes are bad. That's it. It's Jesus and then Jesus on the cross. <clears throat> That's here's another stretch bracelet. And then there's metal and glass ones, different color. All right, so here's my knot. I'm gonna pull it away. There's what's in it. Um, it all looks costume to me, but I will go through it. Oh my god, look at him. Yeah, he feels a little cruddy actually. It is an owl head that somebody just hung feathers off of. <laughs> I don't know if it was sold that way or if somebody made it into that. All right, this looks this looks like a nice necklace. It's double sided and it's a plastic actually. I will untangle this. That is the knot in here, okay? That is a really big knot, don't you agree? I showed some of it. That's that'll be the end of that, right? Um, this is a piece of plastic um, thing that. I saw part of the necklace in there, I think. I don't know. That's like a little joke. And I'm not so far I ain't find any gold. No, I'm joking. I don't expect to. That doesn't happen all the time. This is pretty. This looks vintage. Let me show this. Look. It's nice. See if there's any markings on it. It's a nice little piece. It looks vintage. It's not signed as far as I can see. Um, it's cute. Be cute. It's a little pendant. That's nice. Ugh, God, that's gross looking. Not to be. That's filthy. I'm, I'll turn that out now. I don't want it on my table. My table, I really should have something under this, over this. Oh my God. That's just a bunch of pins. There's a beautiful earring tangled in here. I think it's vitriol glass tangled into this. If I was the other one, these are nice vintage vitriol glass earring here look at the backing it's a vintage piece um i untangled it hopefully the other one's there that's nice that's a beautiful uh vitriol glass earring it's a uh, clip and there's probably a sterling chain that's all broken up mixed in with these Okay, um, those will be thrown in a craft box. I just um, pulled a sterling chain out. You can sell sterling. It's not worth a whole lot, but I bulk it up and sell it when it's uh, a bunch like that. This is gold. I think that means gold plating, okay? It's cute. Look, I, let me see if there's a name on them. It doesn't kind of looks like a Kirk's Folly or something, does it? It's an angel. I'll test it because it... I don't see any markings on it, but he's holding a little stone. Let me turn on my jump tester. I think he's costume, but look, it's holding a little, some kind of clear stone there, and it's cute, nice. It says gold, G-L-D, and has an A. Let me show you what it says. It's on here. I think it's an A. I'm going to enlarge it. My camera will shake a little bit because of the thing that I have it on. It's not that sturdy. I need it. My hands are already getting dirty from this. Don't mind that. Sorry. I. It says golden has an A or something. Let me make it smaller. Um, gold and has a box. I don't think it's gold though. <clears throat> but I, I wanted to see if what he's holding in his hand. If it's like, it's probably just glass. Like a crystal maybe. Or something. Got the little angels holding. Oh, I hit the metal. I don't know. It's just, it's not, it's definitely not a diamond. And I think it's just all gold plated, but it's cute. It's a cute little necklace. Um, yeah. <laughs> there we go. 
the disco ball matches the little heart. Do you see the little heart? I don't think I showed that. That's cute. They're both cute, um, especially for a young girl, you know. Um, to her, ah, what's this? This is pretty. It's got stuff all tangled in it. They really, they didn't, I mean, I guess that's how it is. And so what they did, so I will check through that tangle thoroughly to make sure I didn't miss anything. Because what they did with this is they grabbed a bulk of jewelry and just threw it, like, into, you know, a big chunk. This is all, this is definitely craft. A bunch of, they're, and they're not glass. Oh, wait. No, those are plastic. It's just all knotted up and yucky. It's a costume necklace. It's missing a lot of pieces. That'll go in craft. Somebody might use it. This is a necklace that is marked 242. They had a tag on it. It says something. It says Korea. It says it's vintage Korea jewelry. Faux pearls. Look. It's nice. Vintage. It's a vintage Korean piece. Korea jewelry. There's the and finding to have a spring ring clasp and black and white faux pearls. That's intact. That's good. Um, this is like look, from the 4th of July. Eva's going to need Mardi Gras beads. I have to dig through mine. I probably have some somewhere like they have one day in band camp where they dress up. But that's from the 4th of July pre. A mustache bracelet. Stretchy. They just put anything in these sometimes. You know that. Oh, this is, he's cute. You're a little tangled up. Hold on. I could probably untangle this. The owl is just tangled around the bracelet. Oh, he's cute. He's a costume piece and... Now he's tangled on a J on this uh, velvety bracelet. Look how cute he is. Aw, oh, he's adorable, huh? He's costume. He's not signed. He is a lobster claw. He needs cleaned. I can tell by feeling him, but look, he's cute, actually. That's a cute little necklace. That looks like silver, actually. <laughs> that looks like a... I think a low grade silver, possibly. I, I will make sure. I don't think it is, but I'll make sure. He's cute. I think it's pretty adorable. This is pretty. I guess, see, let me look at it. Let me see if that's painted. It is porcelain or some. It's pretty, actually. I think this is a vintage piece sashed over this. She's pretty beautiful. Look. Um. I guess it's, I don't know if it's original to this velvety piece or not. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm just looking for a name. Look, the velvety piece needs cleaned up. Um, but she's pretty. She looks, I don't know, beautiful, huh? It's missing a piece hair in this velvety piece. She could be slid right off while well, she kind of fits on there. I think she's original. This could be modern. I can't tell. It looks like transfer when I look at it. Um, well, no, wait. No, it looks painted. You can see the ridging on it and there are no transfer dots. So this is painted. Look, let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. You can see the thickness of it. Like in different parts. She's beautiful. She's painted. I don't know how old it is. I can't tell. Okay. But she's beautiful. And this looks like it's plate it possibly I'm not sure but she's really nice she's beautiful she needs this needs a piece on it needs cleaned up that would make a really nice choker don't you think you know like a nice uh necklace she's beautiful and it is painted it's not transfer that's nice I like that um oh good gaff mercy sorry what's this say oh my look at that this is like really bad and that's that's feels like i think it's like cellular i think it's it's vintage but it's very beaten up okay oh i'll go and then off my table craft box okay because i don't want that on my table little flower power look the bottom can needs cleaned out i don't know why there's a big nub in the middle but it does that's what they put in it this is vintage this is gold, gilt with gold. I can tell that. Um, it's pretty. It needs cleaned up a little bit. Look at it. That's pretty. It's a. I'm, I'm seeing if I could see a mark on it. Let's see. 
I'll show you the back too. Um, I can see some of the uh, verdigris coming through, but you can see it. Look, in the back, it looks like it was gilt with gold, but look, it's there. It needs cleaned up. I can clean that. It's pretty. This is nice. It's a bird and flowers. It needs cleaned. But this is an older piece. Definitely vintage. I'm not sure exactly how old, honestly. Possibly Victorian. I don't know. That's something I'm working on. It. I'm learning. It takes time. I'm not one to shoot it out of my mouth if I'm not sure. I just can't. But those two are nice. I like those, actually. They're good findings, I think. At last, I see the light, this says. And there is a, a skillet. This looks like sterling, possibly. I don't know. We'll just say it's silver tones. So I don't see any markings. But look, there's a sun. Oh, oh, I'm not even showing it to you. I'm terrible. At last, I see the light. Doesn't that look like a skillet? And a faux pearl in a sun. That says something. Let me see what it says. That's what I was trying to do. Um, that's my magnifying glass that was laying there. I'm like, I left that there. Look at that. Unsol, resonsol, or essensol. At last, I see the light. It's just, a, it's a bracelet. Okay, I'm spending a lot of time on <clears throat> things, aren't I? Um. This is another flower power. It needs cleaned up. Definitely, it's pretty dirty. It's yucky, kind of. About cleaning up, and I like to sell this flower powers all at one time. At bulk. This looks like gold plating on this. This is pretty. Look at it. I don't know what it is, okay? You have the leaf that's plated. A ball with what looks like crystals in there. Purple. Could be amethyst. I doubt it. We'll call them crystals. I'm looking at how would I even know? Definitely crystals, okay. And a beautiful little butterfly. How pretty. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a pendant or something. I don't know. But it's nice. I like that. We'll keep those beads in case Eva... I, I have to look for Mardi Gras beads. I know we have a lot, but they will work with some other ones if I can't find a lot. We're still in the uh, theme of, uh, you know, we still have Labor Day coming up. This is a, a stretch quartz watch it just says uh quartz on it it's a low quality one this is definitely not gold because it's sticking heavily to that magnet it is part of a broken chain <laughs> but another magnet that's broken this one is broken look it has the cat's eye that's glass it's not plastic and the rondelles and the magnet there um this is pretty I don't know why there's, it says 508 or something on this. I don't know what that means. This is nice though. This is like Hong Kong plastic lucidity jewelry, okay? Really light though. It's just, let's call it. It's got like an AP on the, on the plastic. This is plastic. It's pretty though. I think it's beautiful. It's a necklace. It shines really nice. It's really light too. So you can wear that. Here's another one. Like any, um, you can wear it. It's, it's an easy wear. I'm not going to take it. Eva could probably wear these. I clean them. Like on the Mardi Gras day, you know. Just really pretty beads. Here's an orange. They are strung and separated, okay? These are loose sight. And um, an orange and a blue. They look nice together. They're very light beads. This is, oh, that's AB glass. I don't, I don't see glass. Like, I guess you just put it over, but like on the ends, like you put it over your head, I guess. It's, that's a nice necklace. It's AB glass. I, I find those all the time. <clears throat> like in this, in lots when I'm buying different things, crystal or whatever, they come in with that quite often. Oh, here's a little purple one too. Yeah, I think I'm going to get her, do her upright with them. Do her upright. Uh, she'll have some really beautiful AB, some Beautiful Mardi Gras beads. I know they're not quite Mardi Gras, but they'll work, right? They could be. They're plastic beads. Beautiful. There's purple as well. Look at that nice combination. Don't she look great in camp? Band camp. They go. It's a nine-hour day. The kids are working. Eight to five. Another one of the glass and metal bracelets. Stretchy for the chick. This is for eyeglasses. Again, it's plastic. Like somebody handmade this. These are kind of chintzy. I don't, I wouldn't trust it holding my glasses. Um, here's another one. Wow, these beads, this must have been like somebody had these or something. Look, a collection of them or something. Look how pretty. 
Those all look nice together. I'll give them a bath. I think it's on Friday, the Mardi Gras. It's cool. They have to carry their instruments around, though. She's been whining a little bit about the pain of it, you know. <laughs> She'll get used to it. She has to do it during the Disney trip next year. They're getting This is all broken up. Costume piece. I don't even know the makers, but that's beaten up and it's plastic. That, I'm throwing that away. I can't keep everything, you know. And, ooh, she's beautiful. Oh. It's just a disc. This looks like something for Sylvia. You know, Lady Sylvia. She's my friend and a fellow YouTuber here. She shows very beautiful jewelry and has some amazing cats. And She's beautiful. It looks like this one is actually an early transfer. It's on a vintage brass it's set. It is glass. All glass? Yes, um, I think. Or is that? No, this piece is like on the back. She's beautiful though, isn't she? This would look lovely like with some like pearls or beads or gemstones sat around it. And Sylvia does that. She makes jewelry out of it. I really like her. Who knows? I Maybe I'll come and get her to make me something out of it. She's beautiful. Look. She's very beautiful, actually. And that's a it's vintage. She's quite lovely. Okay. I want it wrapped. I want some stuff wrapped around. I have gemstones. Yeah, I got, a, I got a vision, but I can't make it myself. But Sophie will do it. Maybe if she has time. All right, this is a vintage piece as well. So I'm seeing that maybe she doesn't know. I mean, I guess she thought, okay, let's just toss it in a bag. These three are definitely older, okay. These are definitely vintage, maybe a little older, definitely on this one and that one. Um, and this is also a vintage piece. It looks cool, filled or gilt. Um, it's a, well, it's not that old. Look at the. I don't know what it even is. Look, it like has an opening. It like holds something or something. You see, and there's the back. The clasp isn't all that old looking. So I don't know how old it is, but I thought the coloring of it looked it. But after looking at it, I don't think so. But it's some kind of pen. It is. This is a a leaf brooch. <laughs> there we go. Oh, is this gold? I doubt it. Um, <clears throat> I found gold. But, um, not, not, I don't know. There could be in here. You never know. You got to look at everything. You got to go through everything. Sometimes you find really great stuff and sometimes you don't. And that's, that's how it goes. I think this is just like a plating. Okay. By looking at the findings on it, it would never be hooked like that. It would be closed construction on it. You know what I mean? Uh, a better setting than that at the end, but it's pretty. I think it's gold filled. It's gold plated. It's broke. Seashells, poorly knotted, <laughs> but cool. Okay, some people like those. Um, this is possibly sterling. I don't know. I don't, my magnet in front of me. I will test it and look for markings on it. Yeah, I think it's a base metal silver kind. It's a nice bracelet though. It's knotted like a. Right, this is a big plastic necklace with some stuff knotted on it. There's. That's just a metal. I'm hoping to find this other earring because that's beautiful. Vitreo glass. Those are nice. They're worth the bag in itself. <laughs> just for that. Um, a dainty little necklace. Let's see who it is. Oh, I got a little heart hanging on it. This looks like a... I don't know. It looked like a Givenchy. I don't think it is. It would have a marking. It always has a marking. Your jewelry. Um, no, it's pretty though. Let me show it to you. It's a beautiful little gunmetal finish with a little heart in the back. Dainty, pretty little thing with a little Y hang. Look how pretty. Black and clear glass. And it's not missing them. On this side, it doesn't have them. That's the way it's made. But look at the little heart hang. So cute. That's pretty. I did find some usable things in here. That big, big knot needs to be gone through. There could be quite usable things, a lot of usable things in there. I don't know. I will go through it and unknot it though. This is a big modern, see the clasp? Plastic necklace that's broken up. Beads, I'll put it in craft. 
Um, that's not all craft. There's still more. Oh my god. Uh, monkey. Monkey bracelet. Okay. I, I don't know what's going on with that. It's kind of weird. Oh no, I lost my magnifying glass. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's been a while. I'll get better at it. Julius. It says Julius all over it with monkeys. Looks like something a kid would like. I don't know what that is. A dirty headband. I'm throwing it away. Like, you can buy those relatively cheap. I don't, like, keep that kind of stuff that I get at thrift stores, typically. Unless it's something vintage or something. This looks it's signed NF. That means nickel-free. And I don't know if it's a sterling or not. I'll have to test it. Stone, I think. Let's zap it. I have my gem tester on. Eh, I don't know. So it's hard to tell. It looks like it needs clean bad it just says nf for nickel free look uh, i'm sorry i'm moving my chair over here i don't see any other markings i'll test it It could be a brass or something i'll test it i'll look at the markings on it it's a ring look at it looks like though and there's the back so i don't know about that i'll have to look at it This is a costume necklace that is a modern and base, just gold tone. I'm not going to hang that up. Mom, um, that'll go over there. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with it. In Native American head. Cool. <laughs> it has some little chips up there. That is a resetch. Oh my God, what eyes. Yeah, it's an... I think it's a Native American, or is that supposed to be Jesus? Again, it has that weird gold mark on it. Let me get the magnets out. All right, that's some kind of stone in there, okay? Which is really weird. I'm not zapping up to there, I think. I don't know. Um, I have magnets right here, though, so let's test it. Let's test the chain. It doesn't stick, and neither is this. It needs cleaned up. This is probably a gold plating. It looks pretty filthy. Let me show it in one moment again. It says that. It just says GLD. I think it means it's a gold plating. But look, I, and again, I could have been hitting a metal on this, and that's why it could be. I think that's Jesus, I guess. I don't know. I thought it was Native, like Native American man at first, like vintage looking, but I don't know. I think it's just gold plating, and those are probably little crystals. Let me stick. Let me zap it again. Yeah, see, sometimes, like, when you hit the metal, this is a note to take. It'll, like, be going up like it's a stone, and I'll test everything. It's pretty dirty. I think it's a plating, and those are pretty crystals. It'll go up like it's a stone of some sort, and then it'll beep when you get towards the end. So, this is pretty yucky. That's a paper clip. I mean, a safety pin type of thing. It's really dirty looking. I don't want to keep it because of that. Another couple of necklaces for the Mardi Gras day for my baby. And then they'll be for sale if somebody wants them. Look, they're beautiful. They're nice. These are a nice little, these are, I don't know what they are. I'm not going to say they're vintage or right? They could have been made two days ago. But they're nice They're for the purpose of what I'm going to use them for. So I like that. Um, ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. These are channel. I think I call that channels or bezel set. There's one missing. It's missing a stone. Look how pretty that stone is. Uh, this will be put in the craft. It's a necklace, a silver tone necklace. But that's pretty. It is missing one of the stones right there. Bezel set, they call it, right? Or is it channel? I don't know, honestly, for some reason it's blank. But that's a reverse like rhinestone, and it looks like a. Uh, what do they call that? Watermelon. My nails and stuff are dirty from digging through this bag. I yuck. Bags are dirty <clears throat> when they sit. I think this is all intact, but it needs untangled. Look, this is a brooch or anything. this is all a necklace. Yeah, look, it's all tangled. <laughs> I don't know. I'll go through it and figure it out. What else do I have? I'm digging through the little thing here. I have this. This is enameled metal. Vintage bracelet. 
it looks 1970s. It's a fold over clasp. I don't, there's no marking on it. I can see. No, it's nice though. It's nice and like flexible, movable. That's a bracelet. Um, I have no idea what that is. It's a pin of some sort or an earring that is magnetic. I think it's part of an earring. This is a made with love. That's a comp. I think it is a brand. Glass faux pearl and AB glass. It's a nice little stretch bracelet. It's a made with love uh, thing on it. This, I didn't. Ah, look at this. Yeah, it's not shell. That's thin. This is like a. It's possibly a celluloid or something, but look. She has some high relief. Not real high, but look, she's raised. It's a beautiful cameo ring. That are not marcasites. That's like pinched metal. And let me see if I see a mark on it. Okay. Wait, I do see something. It is has an arrow through it. I think this is a vintage ring. I've seen the mark before. I don't think it's antique. I think it's like... 1920s. She looks 1920s. Take a look at her. I've had other cameos like that. Like it's 1920s. And it has like an arrow over something. I've seen the marking. I have to go look though. I, I don't remember. So this is this is a this is nice. I don't know what the metal is. But she's pretty. She fits on my pinky. She's about a four and a half or a five. It's per that's nice actually. I don't know the metal. I don't see a metal mark, but look at the bottom of it as well. This is an older ring. I believe it's 1920s. And I have to see what the market is. That's nice. So there is some older things in here. We have her. This. This is older. Definitely. And this. There, there's, this is 1920s. Um, that's, I'm pretty firm on certain on that one. Because um, I've seen the mark before. And I have cameos. I'm like, what the hell is this? All right. That is. I can actually use that. <laughs> I'll clean it up. It's a magnet. I'll put it on my fridge. We always, we have so many papers to keep track of, like payments that are going in, lottery calendars for band and that type of thing. So well, we will uh, keep that one. This is insert scissors from this side. Use as if cutting bar with slow, firm stroke. This is the Kenberry scissors sharpener. This is old. I don't know how old, but even by the way it's written, I can tell it's an older thing. And it sharpens scissors, okay? I'm going to have to look that up. I could probably, who knows, on eBay, this could be worth some cash. It is signed, K-E-N-B-E-R-R-Y, scissors sharpener. And it says, insert scissors from this side. Use as if cutting bar with slow, firm strokes. You know how they used to write instructions on things like that? I have a little blue ladybug for Davy that's like antique and it has like writing like I don't know how old this one is. I'm gonna look it up. Why not? It might be worth some money. One of those weird things you could put on eBay and make some cash off of that you would not have suspected, you know. They there are there, they are there. I've seen the women like different resellers post things like that. This is a costume earring. It's nice though. I don't know if the other one's there. It's a hoop. It's definitely base metal. I have an old key. Chicago, Illinois. Okay. I have no idea what the hell that means. Okay. I'll show it in a minute. I'm just like, <laughs> how weird. I have no idea what that is. Okay. Something gets dirty feeling. Though my fingers are getting filthy. Some cool stuff, though. I, I like it. Oh, and Look at him, another magnet for the fridge, and he's adorable. He needs cleaned. You know I love my lizards. We can definitely use these in the um, kitchen. They need washed up. The two, I'll keep those. I, I always need those. Um, I have a, this one's nice. I think it's just gemstone. It's cold. Here, I'll zap it. I have my holder. This is, um, yeah, it's glass. Just cold because the room's cold. But this one would probably hold your uh, neck, your glasses up a little better because it's actually glass. It's a little heavier. Not real, real heavy still, but heavier than the other ones. Um, this is, let's see. 
this says Chrysler keychain with these are probably like to somebody's jewelry box or something like that or you know like something or a lock box I that's a Chrysler keychain of two lock box keychains that really serve no purpose for me a cool belt buckle with a horse on it and this looks older to me it is signed fine pewter and gifts Ashland, Oregon. It is Sis or something. I can't even pronounce that. There it is. This is a that's the back of it. It's a belt buckle pewter horse. I had a belt buckle not long ago I thought was glass. I thought was um silver actually, and it wasn't. Um it was made from a silver company, but it wasn't. I looked at it closer. This is a vintage Japan glass. Um, I don't know if it's milk glass or I can't, I'd have to look at it better, but it's broken. It's a Japan necklace. This piece just needs hooked back over there. It's glass. It's not knotted or anything in between. It's a vintage Japan piece, a yucky looking flower power that I don't know if I can clean, but I'll try. That one looks dirty. It's metal with enamel over it. Let's see if there's any other old stuff. This looks a little, I mean, that, that finding a few old things is nice. Vintage, possibly antique. I don't know. This one, I don't know if this is supposed to have a stone in it or not. It's a pin. It's heavy. It's got a little weight to it. Um, this is a plastic. Vintage plastic. And I don't know if the other one's even there. And here's one here that is broken. Okay. There's a piece of moon glow just laying there by itself. That was an earring, it looks like. Look. This is old. That smells like, I mean, it has a, I smell Bakelite. No, I can go crazy. Maybe there's Bakelite laying somewhere in here. I, I swear I just smell from out of the head. Um, I don't know. This is on its original velvety thing. Look, it's a pen stick pen. I think it's an F. I don't really know. It could be a G. Um, what else? Yuck. I hate to say yuck. That's really filthy. And seashells. Some of it's so dirty. I mean, my hands got... See that? Okay, guys, that's dirty. My tablecloth. I'm going to have to pull this up and wash it before my next sale. It's pretty dirty. Or before my next video. I'm going to order additionals. Um, that's a costume piece. Some plastic bracelets are in here. A number of them. Look. Children, child's type of thing. Um, which I have no problem with child's type of thing. I have a child. <laughs> right? And it's plastic. But she won't wear it all either. This is a modern costume piece. And it is signed, etc. It's pretty for a young girl. Like for a dance. It's not missing anything. It's supposed to be like it in the center. Black rhinestones. It's definitely modern. I could tell by the back. But there, that's signed, etc. Good for the dance for the youngsters. Um, this is pretty. Look at that. Little rhinestones. It's a little pendant or an earring. I don't know which one it was, but the rhinestones are nice. I'd put that in craft. Put a craft lot together. This is signed Canada. I have a spoon. <laughs> It is signed Toronto. It's a probably like a souvenir piece, like a tourist piece, I would guess on that. Um, I have a wooden nickel from 1976. Bicentennial of Rochester area. That's just in here. They give you some strange things sometimes. That is in here. Like, why would I? Want? I guess somebody could use a name tag. And this is pretty. What is this? Is this? You know, this isn't much, but if something like that was cool, I'd keep it and put it in. I keep um, bulk. I keep it, and then when I build up to like a cup, like a hundred, even a couple hundred bucks, I take it. I'll have to test that, as it possibly is. Yeah, it says something on it. I'll have to take it, check it out. It, that it says misses. 
It's just one earring in there so far. Um, this is pretty. This says, my guardian angel protects me. Oh, it's pretty. It's definitely, I don't think that's gold. It looks like a gold tone. I, I would test it, though, just to see. I have a magnet right here to quick test it. It's not sticking. So I'd zap it, you know, test it. It could possibly be gold. I know I discovered um, with things that look like too bright, like the snake neck bracelet I found at the thrift store, it was so bright because it was 23 karat gold that it did not look like gold, but it was. These are two costume, like gold plate pendants. That's, I, I don't know what that means. Is that evil? I've been told that. Um, I don't pay attention to that stuff, but somebody did tell me that. Um, this is a vintage uh, little pin. But anyways, the, the gold um, really break, like when I had the 23 karat gold snake. I was like, okay, it looked like costume, but I was like, I'm gonna grab it. Here, I have both of these vintage plastic screw bags. I was like, I'm gonna pick it up, you know? You know, cause it's nice and I know people like snake. And then I started looking at it and you know, when you see a plating on a piece of jewelry, you like see marks in that, but it had none of those marks that you'd suspect to see. This is another key, that's <laughs> so weird. It's just a random key, filthy, looks older now. And so I, I kept it. And I kept on, I tested it, and it was testing as gold. So as I do with something that big, um, or anything really, I have a parking coin. I took it, and I had it verified, and they told me it's 23 karat gold. Okay, you know, I'm dramatic. I almost cried because tears come to my eyes often. I'm a big baby. This is a vintage Cora. It's cute. It could be for me. I'll have to read it and check it out better. It's an older Cora piece. Uh, and it was 23 karat gold, and I was like, it didn't even look like gold. That's what I'm saying. Um, that's a bracelet, silver tone. It, it's like the really bright, hold on, I just mixed those pieces up. I don't want to. That's an angel. It's cute. Little acrylic plastic piece. Um, like, it won't look like gold, but it is. Once you're looking at it for a while, I'm sure people aren't tricked. I mean, I would probably know. I mean, I would be more leery. That's why I'm saying with this piece that looks awfully bright. I'll test it <laughs> and look at it because, well, that wouldn't be foreign. Like the, that was a, for, I'm like in, uh, they, what they say, Egyptian, I think they told me I couldn't read the markings and that would be why, because it was written in their language. All right. So that's what I found. Um, I don't know. I, I definitely found at least, um, I mean, found more than what I paid for to pay 25 bucks. I know with the rings, this ring, I think is, it's 1920s. I believe I have to test and look for the marking. Um, I don't believe, I believe it is plated because I think I see some tarnish on there. Okay, and sh her, these pieces, are, you know, I got my money's worth. I got over my money, but possibly two small gold pieces, we'll see. All right, so that's it. This is my jewelry bag. I will bulk it up and put some in the craft. I'm going to be doing craft lots again. I may be doing craft lots free. I'll let you know. It'll be identified as free craft lots, okay, if that happens. I don't know if it'll happen, when it'll happen. I've been extremely trying to get caught up on the house. Today's clean the floor days. So I got to go get busy before it's time to pick up Eva. If you saw anything you wanted, yeah, let me know. Please give me a thumbs up and a like, and you know, which is the same thing as subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you liked anything out of there. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope you have a very lovely day. Goodbye.